that's Perth weather for you. Most of the year, just perfect blue sky. So let's use some of that data, Perth weather data, to look at how we remove duplicates with analytic functions. Let's watch the video. These are short two minute sessions designed to help you solve real problems, not just wander through the syntax. In this session, we're not going to actually do a quick recap of the previous sessions like we normally do, because today we're jumping straight into it. We're going to look at using analytics for solving some of the classical problems that were always hard in SQL. These are now classical problems made simple. Albert Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. And that's so true when it comes to analytics. It's not just about doing analysis on data. It's not just about running SQL against big volumes of data in data warehouses. What we're looking at doing is solving problems where analytics maybe did not seem an obvious fit. Here's the classic problem. Rather than give you the requirement like we've been doing in previous videos, let's build it up slowly as to how it might happen in a workplace. Here's our raw data. It's a sample taken every day for the weather in where I live, which is Perth. Your manager has produced the following report, just simply summing up by month to give the total rainfall. And he's gone upstairs to his higher management and said definitively, it looks like July is the month where we had the most rainfall. All of a sudden, your phone rings. And how many managers will say this to you? Hmm, there seems to be a slight issue. Please remove the duplicates from the data. Of course they don't say this. What happens is, it's never like that. They go, here was my output, it's wrong, you made me look like a fool. This is what they send through as a requirement. The data's bad, the data's crap, fix it now. You're basically, your career is on the line all of a sudden. In this case, unfortunately, the manager was correct. When we look at the data, somehow, when we loaded up July, we actually loaded duplicates. The task today becomes, how do we remove duplicates nice and easily? Let's look at analytics to solve the problem. So using the row number, we're going to partition by the sample date, which happens to be the logical primary key. The primary key obviously wasn't on because we allowed the duplicates to come in. And we're ordering by row ID, which is effectively any unique value we can find. You can see by the two values highlighted in red, for a given duplicate data, one of the row numbers is one, and one of the row numbers is two. So if we remove all the ones that have a duplicate count greater than one, we will have removed all the duplicates. So let's build it up. Here's the query we just saw on the previous slide. Getting the row number partitioned by sample ordered by row ID. We're going to select the row IDs where the duplicate count is greater than one. We have to use an inline view because as we know, we can't use an analytic as a predicate. That's going to identify all the rows that are duplicates. And then we simply wrap that in a delete command and we can see we removed 32 rows. Now when we rerun the manager's report, we can actually see that last year it was actually August that had the highest rainfall. And he can go up to his higher management with confidence that the data is now correct. Piece of career advice for you, don't make your manager look like a fool. Analytics has come to the rescue in this case. You can run these yourself by clicking on the script below. In the next session, we'll look at more classical problems made simple with analytics. Thanks very much for watching and don't forget to keep it simple with SQL. We'll see you all again soon.